Hello my dear students, how are you? So yet another session of video I have come with another topic. Viruses we started with. So today I will be continuing with another topic of viruses. So few more topics I want to discuss in this video. Starting first with the classification of viruses. Then I will describe about symmetry of viruses and structure of TMV and bacteriophage. So these I am going to discuss in today's video. So let us get started. So first classification of viruses. Viruses are classified according to International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses. International Committee on International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses. There are only three hierarchical levels describing the virus. One is family which ends with the suffix viride. Genus name ends with virus. It is named as virus. Any name of virus. Species name ends with the English name describing the nature. So in this way the AIDS virus, AIDS virus its nomenclature is family retroviridae and genus it is called lentivirus. Retroviridae because it is the RNA which is the main genetic material so it is the retroviridae and then species name is called HIV human immunodeficiency virus. That is about the classification of viruses. So next I am going to start with what is called as a structure of viruses and the symmetry of viruses. So based on symmetry there are different types of viruses. So first we can start with what is the size of virus. Size of virus. Size of viruses vary according to uh, the different types of viruses. The largest virus, largest virus, the size is equal to the smallest bacterium. For largest virus, the size is equal to the smallest bacterium. We know the smallest bacterium is mycoplasma. And smallest virus, smallest virus, the size is equal to that of the ribosome. <coughs> ribosome. We know viruses are much smaller than bacteria. Viruses are measured in terms of nanometers. Bacteria are measured in terms of microns. Largest virus, example of largest virus example is Vaccinia virus. Vaccinia virus. Smallest one is foot and mouth disease virus in cattle. Foot and mouth disease virus in cattle. So this is, these are the different sizes of viruses, smallest and largest virus. In general, the size of the virus range between 300 nanometers on the larger side to about 20 nanometers on the smaller side. 300 on the larger side and 20 nanometers on the smaller side. Now let us continue with the next part of the topic that is symmetry of viruses. Okay. Let us come back. Let us continue with the symmetry of viruses. The symmetry of viruses is dependent upon the protein coat. You know viruses are mainly composed of two components. One is the inner core forming nucleic acid and outer protein coat. Outer protein coat is also called as a capsid. This forms the outer protein coat and this capsid is consists of many subunits. It consists of many subunits called as capsomers. It consists of many subunits called as capsomers. Each capsomer is a protein. So it is the arrangement of these capsomers that will decide the symmetry of any virus. Arrangement of the capsomers. So now let us see what are all the different symmetries with some examples. So first type of symmetry is the helical symmetry. In helical symmetry, the capsomers are arranged in a spiral manner. Here we find even the RNA is arranged in a spiral manner. 
and around the RNA, around the RNA we find many capsomers are also arranged in a spiral manner. So this type of arrangement is called as helical symmetry. So helical symmetry is found in PMV, tobacco mosaic virus and also in rabies virus, tobacco mosaic and rabies virus. Second type is called as polyhedral viruses, polyhedral viruses. Polyhedral viruses means, polyhedral means many sides. So, it shows many sides, polyhedral symmetry. This is found example in adenovirus. Polyhedral virus symmetry is found in adenovirus and it is also found in herpes and polioviruses. Polyhedral symmetry is also found in herpes and polio viruses. So, helical we find in rabies and PMV virus. Polyhedral is found in adeno and herpes polio virus. All these are animal viruses. Then third type is called as a binal symmetry. Binal symmetry. This is a combination of the first two. That is a helical symmetry and polyhedral symmetry. Binal symmetry is observed in Bacteriophages. Binal symmetry is observed in bacteriophages. So, these bacteriophages, as we all know, the shape of the bacteriophage, it is a tadpole shape. So, a tadpole shape is the bacteriophage will have a head portion and a tail portion with head and tail with many tail fibers, the detailed structures will be doing it. So, head and the tail portion. So, this head portion, head portion shows, head portion shows a polyhedral symmetry and the tail portion shows helical symmetry. So, it is a combination of both. So, therefore, it is called as a uh, binal symmetry. And these viruses are also called, these are the complex viruses. These are called as complex viruses because they are the combination of two types of symmetries are present. So, then next type, these are the different types on symmetry. Then the other type of viruses, other types we find based on their structure also, based on the structure Now, the next type of viruses, we are calling it as enveloped viruses. Next type of viruses, we can call it as enveloped viruses. These enveloped viruses, these are found in animals. Enveloped viruses are found in animals. So, in animals, along with nucleic acid, we know in viruses there is a nucleic acid either DNA or RNA present at the center, surrounded by a protein. This protein is called as a capsid. It is surrounded by a protein called as a capsid. This capsid is further surrounded by, this capsid is further surrounded by another layer. This layer is called as envelope. Or this is also called as a peplos envelope or this is also called peplos. And this peplos consists of many subunits called peplomas. Just like capsid has different subunits, capsomas. Similarly, peplos also has subunits called as a peplomas. And peplos is made up of lipids. It is made up of lipids or proteins or it may be made up of carbohydrates. It may be made up of lipids, proteins, carbohydrates or a combination of these. So, enveloped viruses are characteristic of the animal viruses. Like influenza virus is enveloped virus, measles virus. All these are enveloped. But recently what we are facing through is coronavirus. These are all called enveloped viruses. Of course, slightly different we find in coronavirus. 
Now the next one are called as piped viruses. Are called as piped viruses. So if the envelope, if this envelope, if this envelope, this is a capsid, and if this envelope is present in the form of spikes. Many spikes can be present. The number can be constant for one virus to the other. Many such spikes are present. They are called spiked viruses. The spikes are generally made up of glycoproteins. Spikes are made up of glycoproteins. And the spikes help in attachment to the receptor cells of the host. That's why even coronavirus also has spikes. It is a spiked virus. And gets, it gets attached to certain receptors on the cells of the host. And then sends its DNA into the host cells. Once the DNA enters into the host cell, it can multiply number of times. And many copies it can make. So these five viruses mainly have high rate of mutation. Because each spike is made up of specific number of amino acids. And mutation can occur in any of the amino acids. So normally the viruses show high rate of mutation and the spiked viruses can show much higher rate of mutation. So these are all the types of viruses which we discuss. I want you to go through. Just have a quick look of these before we switch over to the next topic. Now, let us see different types of viruses based on the host. So, based on host, different types like first one are called phytophages. Phytophages are those which attack plants. Here, the genetic material is normally double-stranded. Genetic material normally single-stranded RNA, normally. In phytophages, normally it is single-stranded RNA. Rarely we can find even double-stranded DNA also. Like for example, exception. Exception is cauliflower, cauliflower mosaic, cauliflower mosaic virus or diarrhea mosaic virus. Cauliflower mosaic virus or Diarrhea mosaic virus. This is this will be the exception. Either cauliflower mosaic virus or diarrhea mosaic virus. So these are called phytophages. Then second type are called as zoophages. Zoophages means animal viruses. They attack generally animals. Here commonly it is double stranded DNA. Double stranded DNA is the genetic material. But we can also find RNA as genetic material. Like for example, we have AIDS virus where RNA is genetic material. AIDS virus RNA is genetic material. Similarly, influenza virus. Influenza virus. And recently, coronavirus. All these have RNA as genetic material. So if the RNA has genetic material, they have more ability to undergo mutation. They can undergo faster rate of mutation. And RNA will be first converted to DNA in the host cell by reverse transcription. And after that, it will start multiplying within the host cell. So these are called zoophages. The third type are called as bacteriophages. The third type are called as bacteriophages. The viruses which attack bacteria, they are called bacteriophage. Normally, it is double-stranded DNA. Normally, it is double-stranded DNA is the genetic material. But sometimes, single-stranded DNA is also found like for example, 5X174 and M13 bacteriophage. 5X174 and M13 bacteriophage. But normally it is double stranded DNA. Now the next type, fourth type is called as a cyanophages. 
Cyanophages are those attacking blue green algae, cyanobacteria or they attack blue green algae and here normally it is double stranded DNA. The next fifth type zymophages. Zymophages. Zymophages are those which attack yeast. They attack yeast. Here also it is double stranded DNA is the genetic material. And then mycophages. Mycophages. Mycophages are those which attack fungi. Which attack fungi. Here also double stranded DNA is the genetic material. So these are the different types of viruses based on their host. Have a quick look at it. Then we switch over to the next topic. Okay, now let us understand about the structure of TMV, tobacco mosaic virus. So this structure of the TMV, the shape of the TMV is a broad shape and its symmetry is it is a helical symmetry. And size three, about 300 nanometers in length and 18 nanometers in diameter. Its molecular weight is 39 into 10 to the power of 6 tons. And core diameter is about 4 nanometers. The core diameter is this uh, RNA is present in a helical manner. It is arranged, it is present in a helical manner and it forms a central hollow space. Like a spring like, you have to imagine this like a spring. So like a spring like, it follow, it, it is, forms a central hollow core. The diameter of the core is 4 nanometers. And capsomers, number of capsomers, these are all total capsomers. So if we observe the, if we observe the RNA, this is how it will be spirally arranged. And all the capsomers also will be spirally arranged. So, all like pressed together, when they come together, they appear this rod like. And number of capsomers are 2130. And 49 capsomers will be present in 3 turns. So, total of 130 turns are formed. These spirals or these turns, total will be 130 turns. And each capsomer has 158 amino acids. Now the genetic material, the genetic material is RNA and it is in the form of single stranded RNA. Nucleotides present in the RNA are 6400 nucleotides. So sometimes question can be asked like what is the ratio between nucleotides and that of the capsomers? We get a ratio of 3 to 1. And the most common symptom, like as the virus says, most common symptom caused by tobacco mosaic virus is the mosaic symptom where there will be a loss of chlorophyll at certain uh, points in the form of patches. And it is easily transmitted through phloem sac. The insects which suck the phloem sac, when they visit from the deceased plant to healthy plant, they bring about the transmission. This is how the tobacco mosaic virus can be transmitted, causing great uh, loss of yield to the tobacco plant. Now next, let us uh, continue with the Next, bacteriophage structure. 